Hey everyone, this is Arc Theory 635 and uh, I have a video that will be a little depressing for some people that has grown with these things, but I have some really strange and possibly bad news, and it's that Fingyon is changing. You guys probably know Fingyon as the makers of, of Universal Fighters, uh, of Robo Wisdom, Fire Dragon, and a bunch of others. Well, I'll say this, not long ago I discovered they were, or I found out because of pictures, I don't know if this is a concept or they are actually already producing them, which I believe they are because the robots seem actually legit touchable robots. Um, I've seen two, very, two new variants of the Fire Dragon that were white and pink, I believe, and then white and blue, something like that. No, one was white and blue, the other one was gray and green, I believe, I really don't remember. But here's the thing, they did not stop there, okay, they made a white, a white and green Robo Wisdom, which they called Calvin, including the Mini, and now they are doing something completely outrageous, and I'll be honest, I've never been against Fingyon, but I believe these, 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 um, how can I even explain it, these, th these choices are just stupid, I'm sorry, but these choices are completely straight out of stupid this is the new mini robo wisdom as you guys can see probably not on the crotch it says calvin this is the new robo wisdom the older one you guys know it mostly with black and white that's just that's just fine i really could care less about it but here is where it gets nastier here is where it actually makes me cringe so much I just can't hold it in. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, how I found them in the actual order. The fake, the, the original and the new one. First of all, this is the original. Keep in mind this is the original version of Universal Fighter 4. You've seen it, right? You have seen it. Pause the video, see it right. There's nothing really you gotta see, but now... This is what you gotta see. <sighs> yes, exactly. They just reduced it to two stupid colors and you know it doesn't it doesn't really make sense anymore. You see, there's a lot of people that was born around 1998, 99, 2000s. They were born with these robots running around. Okay. Oh, sorry. Shit, that was a meme, sorry. Um so I was saying before, they were born with these robots. They were literally born with these robots going around, with these beautiful colors. They were just colorful. They were fine. And straight out of nowhere, they just decide, hey, how about if we, you know, um, make a few changes? And that's what they did. They're going to make a red and a blue one. That's just nasty. That is nasty. It's cool for collecting purposes because you have another variant. But knowing that these will be the only ones made from now on, that's that's sad. It's just like Defa Toy. Even though I believe Defa Toys is still making the chrome ones, they will stop. And they will only make the ones that are red and yellow. Every company right now is updating these toys and it's nasty. I fucking hate it. This is the remastered or or upgraded Space Fighter Robots. They look fine, you know, they, they look fine and all, but keep in mind, these are the originals. This is how great they used to look like before. They are not making any good by just, and here's where it really makes me want to cry. And I'll show you why it makes me want to cry, okay? This is me when I was around four years old. This is my first robot ever. Robot Commander 2, also known as the Mini Zadok. This is Universal Fighter 3, my first robot that ever said don't move, drop the gun, and my second robot ever in the toy bunch. Then there's Millennium, that's my third one, but this is my second one. Look at right, it's the original Fingyon one. This is what happens when they literally just go way too far with the creativity. This makes me want to cry. I... I never felt this bad. This really makes me want to cry. Look at these monstrosities. They are new robots. I get it. 
they have in other colors. I completely get it. You know, it's it's cool that they upgraded them all, but they no longer they will no longer make the original ones. And the original ones are the ones that really matter because those are the ones that literally gave sense to everything. I mean, I'll be honest. It would be fine if instead of remaking them with another colors, they would just repair the mistakes of the old ones because you see these screw holders from the sides. Yeah, they they make no good to them. I've had at least let's see, I've had one when I was little, two in 2011. Three with the one I have right now. I've had three of these. And let me tell you one thing. These screw holders for the sides are a pain in the ass because they hit against the arm. And if you put the arm all the way down, it's going to spin and it's going to get stuck against that. It happened with every single of mine. Now, no. Basically, instead of restoring, instead of like, you know, fixing up the mistakes, because they, I see they kind of fucked it up. When I was little, this picture is not clear enough. When I was little, there was this sort of peg on the gun, on that little green gun, that they got rid of. With the time, they just got rid of it. This doesn't have it, but there was like a little sharp, sharp peg that was coming out of that gun. These are all new generations. These are not old ones. I'm going to actually pause the video and find a, I believe, yeah, I'll find a picture of the old generation, of the first generation Universal Fighter 3. Um, so I'll pause the video and, and Google it. Alright, here's a few of the Universal Fighters that Fingon has ever made, but I'm, uh, I'm strictly looking, this is the original, okay, this is the original Universal Fighter 3. Let's see if the image can actually zoom and we have an HD thing. That little sharp thing you guys see right there, they took it off completely. And I have a slight feeling that this color schemes have to do something with the generations. Because usually the first ones have purple and red arms. Or like, you know, including the purple color and the uh, shoulders are usually... They have this radioactive finishing. So I believe it has to do something, but I'm not really sure. It's exactly the same business with, you guessed it right, Universal Fighter 4. Universal Fighter 4, the original one, does have the little peg on the top. Now, none of mine have this because none of mine are, are old, which I hope I ever get an old one because I'd love to have an old one. But that's literally what they, do, what they are doing. And now the new one, the new Universal Fighter 4 and 3, of course, yeah, Apart from not having that, they have silver antennas, silver body, which doesn't change from the other one, but they have red uh, red limbs. You see, it would be nice if they would actually make something like, you know, red feet with, uh, I don't know, with red legs and blue arms with these blue arms, just like they did with the older ones, and do a completely inverse version, just to have more, you know, more variants and probably more, more models to sell, because usually these... For collectors like me, like Kevin, like a bunch of others that love these retro type robots. They are great to collect because of the fact they come in assorted colors. Now, if they just put these two colors in, it's <laughs> it's not the same. It's just nowhere near the same, but this is when it makes me cry again. Universal 33, my first robot of this brand ever purchased. It's sad to see... I mean... I'll say it looks kind of cool, but what I don't like is the fact they are, they will stop making the ones that really matter, which are the ones that give sense to the company's beginnings, which are these. This is with, this is a knockoff of the Robot Commander 3. That's why it's called Universal, Universal Fighter 3. Now, again, it, it's just shit. I don't, I don't fucking get it. Same with these. This is Weiser Berserker. I don't have a... I don't have a, a picture of Weiser Berserker, so I'll have to go ahead and, and search it. Uh, Weiser Berserker. Yeah, you know, cringeworthy name. These are the original Weiser Berserkers. We have the ones that have the blue, the black body, sorry. And we have the ones that have, well, of course, there's like two sizes. There's medium and big. Uh, but there's also the silver ones. There's silver and black. 
Those are the original ones. Now they are just... And this is what they did with Space Wiser. If anybody remembers Space Wiser, I used to have that one too. Literally right now they are remaking them with a really shitty name and with a really shitty color scheme. And I'll try to... I'll try to look it up to see if it actually shows up. There we have it. They are making voice-controlled robots called Annie with the exact same things that Space Wiser has. Not only that, they add stupid red-blue LEDs and that's practically it. Fing Yun, what the fuck are you doing? I I I've never been against this company ever. I've never really criticated anything they did because, you know, it seemed fine. It seemed great, but... Throughout time, you find out that these toys are getting cheaper, are getting nastier, are getting less creatively, and it, it happens with everything. Everything. I mean, I'll just put another another example. Defatoy. Defatoy is another company. Here's the original one they made back in 2012 or 13, I believe. This is the uh, Robot Warrior. They change a few colors, put, put LEDs... And this is what comes out. Blaze Dragon. Exactly the same that they did with, you guessed it right, Metal Fighter. Or this one. Which, no, this one. Which is which was originally called Metal Fighter, but now it's called Armor Warrior or Armor Cannon. And once again, it's just stupid. It, it, it's just like everything. They just remaster things, but sometimes they end up messing them up. This again, this one was called Warrior Robot, and it was, it came in a chrome, red and blue scheme, just like any other robot, which was a classic scheme, and now I don't know how that one's called, actually. But there's a, there's like plenty other examples, there's plenty of other examples of robots just getting, you know, fucked up, that's what really pisses me off. I, I hope I don't bother people with this video, but... I'm I'm just I'm just against it, you know. I'll try to see if I find the the how's it called the um, yeah the fire dragon the new version of the fire dragon. No, not 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 Robo Raptor. I like Robo Raptor, but no, no not even no. Meposaur is a piece of shit. Meposaur is a p o s. I got it. Where the fuck is it? Just hold on. I'll, I'll pause the video again. Okay, I believe I found something. This is this is the one that I have right there, which is Fire Dragon, which I, by the way, I still gotta fix. Fuck. Um, one picture more, just for the forsaken of it. Yeah, it's the one that I have that has a broken gear. And at one point, there should be a picture or two. Of the white one. There's got to be pictures of it somewhere. I mean, again, there will be random pictures of, like, random dinosaurs and shit like that from another company. It's like, fucking Pleo. Pleo's not even RC. Fuck Pleo. God. Where's rubbery dildo dinosaurs? Oh, yeah, this, believe it or not, I, I think this is by Fingyon. I think. I could be wrong. No, it was another one. Sorry, it was another one. No, 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 no. Uh, but, yeah, I really gotta check that fucking image before I finish the video, because I want to see. I want to show you how the new one looks like. Oh, this is Space Fighter. This is the this shooting Space Fighter, a.k.a. Original Blastobot. That Blastobot right there. Um, again, you see, thanks to, uh, you know... Think Gizmos and a bunch of other brands. Yeah, I know when they request you to do something, it's it's fine. But when you do it by yourself on on your company just to you know renew the things, it really doesn't seem logical. I'll see what happens if I just put Fing Yun Dinosaur Fing Dinosaur Toy. There we go. Fuck it. The fuck is this shit? Come on. I like guess I gotta see the fuck. Okay, yeah, that's that's space wiser. Good, and it's 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 too cheap. Oh, I wanted to actually point this out about um 
Ha! Astro Fire Power King, which I do have it. The English version is a piece of shit as well. Because the songs it has are copyrighted songs. You know, Michael Jackson's Beat It. We Will Rock You by, by Freddie Mercury. Um, the Dangerous by Michael Jackson. And the way it talks is just shit. I mean, come on, Thing Young. If you want to do something, do it right. Don't do a piece of shit. The robot's great. The way it works is fine. Great this shoot, uh, not this, missile shooting action. You fuck it up with the voice. The voice fucks it up. Because the robot literally talks like shit. It's like, let's dance to get daughter. Like really the, the, oh man, this dinosaur. Sorry, I, it's just a little out of topic, but I used to have one of these when I was little. Oh, I'm glad they still make them. As I was saying before, the language is nonsense. You cannot understand what the fuck it says. The robot, if I'm not wrong, it said something like, and make flying boogans. And I know what the fuck that was. I mean, come on. If you don't have any more creative idea, don't you have, don't, don't you have even, like, I mean, it, it's a, it's a copy, it's a trademark now. Fingyun's a trademark. Can't they just go ahead and, you know, ask people to record things to them? Like, you know, like regular, like a guy talking English like me. I'm Argentinian and look at me. I speak an English that is decently understandable. It's not something like, oh, let's dance together. And I swear to God, if I find a fucking picture of this, I'm going to scream. If I find a picture of this with red and blue, I'm going to scream. Okay, I'll scream because I don't have anything else to do. I really don't have anything else to do. And I swear, it will be really sad. If they end up making... No, fuck no, what the fuck is that shit? If they end up making a a, ro, a, a a robot like this, but with those new colors, then fuck it. Fuck it. I'm done with Fing Yun's new products. So really, I mean, it's not a threat or anything. If if somebody from Fing Yun or somebody from China that builds toys or something sees this, which I highly doubt it, because again, even though trademarks nowadays, some of them are like, you know... Attached to social media, we could say that about Jimmy. Thing you and I doubt it is. <gasps> so I'll go ahead and say this. Oh whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's a it's a zoomer. It's a Mippo zoomer. <laughs> well sorry, as I was saying, if anybody sees this from any toy company, keep in mind making up the toys from the past with new colors will not help. Because it's, it's sad, okay? This is already fucking sad. This, not this, sorry. This, these are all things. This is just fucking sad. Me, super Mega Heavy Metal Fighter with those colors. That's just super sad. I'll say that. It's. I mean, I was... I, I grew up with another Super Mega Heavy Metal Fighter, which I don't think I do... I, yeah, I, I did have the picture. What? Oh, this. I grew up with this Metal Fighter. This Metal Fighter was the shit back then. Now, probably a lot of people will say, Hey, 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 this is better. This one's way much better than this piece of crap. And I don't want to be mean, but I think the sword's not even going to bother lighting up. Again, it might light up and shit, but I really don't know. Plus, it does still have a chrome piece, I believe. I think this is chrome. But... I will not know until I see somebody actually buying one of these robots and doing a review or doing a video or seeing pictures of the actual item. So, until then, we really don't know. But, again, it's sad. What happening? What's happening here, it's just sad. Because these robots are getting recolored and stuff. I know, yeah, they, they are, you know, preparing them for a new generation of collectors. That's completely fine, you know. But it's just not, it doesn't feel right. just doesn't feel right to, like, have a completely bastardized version of your robot that you used to have, but with all the colors different. It just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel like, you know, like, it doesn't feel like you recover something from your childhood once you buy it. Because when you buy it, you want something that was from your childhood, the colors, the things. With this, it just doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like that anymore. It really makes me want to stop collecting at some at some point. 
But uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have stopped and and saw this video till this point, thank you, everyone, for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a nice evening.